Hi, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a quick and simple Christmas card in Word. So first of all I've currently got an A4 piece of paper here. If you would like to change the size of your piece of paper just go up to layout, click on size, click on the drop down and you have a number of different options here for the size of your piece of paper or card. So I'm actually going to turn this page around to landscape to allow us to make a portrait card. So the first thing I need to do is to go to the layout tab again, go to orientation and click landscape. And then I'm going to double click at the top of my page to enter into the headers and footers. Now, if you haven't got that option for any reason, you can just go to insert where it says headers and footers, just click on either of them. I click on the drop down and go to edit header and you have exactly the same result. Now in here I'm just going to go to insert shapes, click on the drop down and select the line. Then I'm simply going to click, hold down my shift key so I get a perfectly vertical line and drag down the middle of my page. And whilst that line is selected, you need to go to shape format go to Align, click on the drop down and select Align to Center. Now what that's done is given us our center point for our card. And I've done it in the headers and footers because if we come out of the headers and footers by double clicking anywhere in this central space, I can no longer move this line and it will stay there. So therefore I won't accidentally move it or nudge it and it won't irritate me while I'm trying to construct the rest of my card. And I can simply go back at the end and just delete it and I'll show you how to do that. So the front of our card is going to be this side here. Now the one thing you have to think about is whether you have a borderless printer or not. I can show you how to do this card for both borderless and non-borderless printing, but you just must be aware of it before you go ahead and design it. So the picture here, there's a couple of ways you can do this, but if we just hop onto the internet and let's go to this website called pixabay.com here, I'm just going to type into the search engine Christmas. I'm going to go over to these images here, or this drop down and select illustrations and ignore the top ones here because they're sponsored and you'll have to pay for them. But if you scroll down, you will see there are numerous different images that you can use for your card. Now here you can use an image where you can actually put some writing on the image or there are options where you can select an entire image with writing already included such as this image here and you don't actually have to edit anything. So let's just go to this image here where it will allow us to put some writing in. If I select it, go to download, click on the download and select the size you want. I'm just going to select this bottom one here and you can see it's now downloaded. If I go back to my Word document, now go to Insert, Pictures, click on the drop down and select Picture from File. Make sure you're on your downloads and then you can click on the image you've selected and click Insert. Now when your image is inserted into Word, you won't be able to move it. So just select it, right click, go to Wrap Text and select in front of Text. And now you can move this image any way you like. Now the important thing is here, if you would like to stretch your image across the page, click and pull out the corner and then simply move it down until you've covered the whole page and then you've just popped on that central line. Now you have got the option to crop this image, for example you wanted this bear a little bit further over, what you can do is pop it there, then you can go to crop and then with this black marker here, you can just pull it all the way across and then press enter and then just simply move it back over to that central line there. So that's if you've got borderless printing, you can print out your card like that. And I will show you how to put some text at the top here. If you don't have borderless printing, there's one of two things you can do. You can resize your image and you can pop it in the middle here. And then you can do this by eye or there's another technique that you can use where you simply insert a square by going to shapes. You select a, sh a square or sorry, a rectangle that goes perfectly on this side of the page. 
then you send it to the back by going to send backwards center back and then select this central image hit the command or control key select the outer square and then select align to center align to middle and that will perfectly line that up to this side of the page and that's the only way really you can center that item now alternatively you might think I don't want a board around it I'm willing to cut the rest off what you will need to do is to move your image over to the middle of the card and then be prepared to cut off the rest of your card and I'll show you how to do the middle of the card to ensure the writing is in the middle whichever method you choose so if you wanted to insert some text on this card just go to insert you can use a text box or you can use word art it's completely up to you I'm going to use word art and select this icon here or this text here then I'm going to print Mary and then I'm just going to move that over here and then whilst it's selected I'm going to go to the home tab I'm going to change the font color to white using this icon here then I'm going to change my font to this font here Bellania and then once I'm happy with my font and font size and font color all I'm going to do is select this text hold down my alt or option key and drag out another exactly the same size deselect reselect this one just extend it out select this text and just type in Christmas and then you can move this text anywhere you like on your page and then you can move the other one as well perfect so once you're happy with this side of your card you're going to want to do the inside so all we have to do is go to insert page break and it doesn't matter which way you do this around because it will print exactly the same so all we want to do is go to your second page to ensure this is all perfectly lined up if you do decide to cut all of this off select this image and then simply press command or control C to copy it go to the top of this page and press command or control and V to paste it and then just move it to the same side because obviously when it prints it also wants to be on this side of the card just move it to the center and then make sure it's aligned to the middle so make sure on picture format align align to middle then that what that will allow you to do is to put your text here in the middle and then we'll delete the image so let's go and borrow those text boxes so select this text box here Christmas I'm going to hold down my alt or option key again click and drag up here let's say we wanted to say wishing you a wonderful time and then obviously it's too big so I'm going to put my cursor in this text box by just clicking inside command or control A will select all the text I've just typed but you just can't see it then go up to the home tab go along to this icon which is reduce font size and you can see as I click it will reduce that font size for me then I'll change that font to black and then what I can do is once that's selected hold down my command or control key select the image behind it which is kind of acting like a guide go to shape format go to align, align to center, align, align to middle that now is lined up perfectly in the center of this image which is the guide for your entire card deselect them both, reselect this one and then delete it now this text is exactly in the center of the card if you were to cut out the card because you haven't got a borderless printer now if you have got a borderless printer the way in which you'd line this up is the technique we used before go to insert shapes click on the drop down select the square then at the top here make a rectangle that's exactly the same size as your page go up to send backwards click on the drop down and select center back then once the background's selected hold down the command or control key and click the text and once again align to center, align to middle select the background box and just delete it 
and this now is in the center of this half of your page. So if we just zoom out, you can see this is our Christmas card, but obviously this text here would not be in the center of this card because this is for borderless printing. So we'll just go back a couple of steps and now that will be perfectly lined up with this one here. So to get rid of this line, once again, just double click at the top of your page, select the line, press delete, double click anywhere else, and there you have your Christmas card. So what you need to do is only print the first page first, then turn it over to print the second page, and therefore you'll have your completed card. What you don't want to do is just press print and it will print out these two pages and you won't have this central text in your card. You will have to turn them around to create the completed card. So I hope those tools and techniques have helped you to create your own personalised Christmas cards. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.